Okay, there's a couple things we want to do. Based, first, just to make sure you got the concept. You have this system. In this system, this reaction is occurring. When this reaction occurs, happens to be that heat's given off some amount of energy. We don't know how much. That's what we want to know. So the reaction gets, gives off energy when you do, when it happens, okay? So what is that delta H? Well, this is just your, a standard sort of one of the, in the category of the sum of Q is equal to zero sort of question. Not everything is one of these. But if you see something that's a temperature change, a reaction, uh, a solution being mixed, or a phase change, any of those four or any combination of those, it's definitely one of these. Big hint, they gave you a heat capacity. There's really nothing else that you know that can involve heat capacity besides this set. Uh, another hint, there's a temperature change. Because there's temperature change, okay, this is that kind of heat capacity sort of problem. Alright, so you go sum of Q's equals zero. And then what we did, and so this happens, there's some system in here, we've got a reaction, and there's water in here, they tell us. Okay, so all this, just from the question. So the sum of Q's equals zero. If we go through our list, is there anything that changed temperature? Yeah. There was a temperature change. It occurred in here. It wasn't the reaction per se, but what was around the reaction received that heat. So the reaction occurred. It was hot. The stuff around it warmed up. And it warmed up from 25 to 28.1. So there's a Q there. We'll just call it Q of the water. Okay. I don't think anything else changed temperature. Can't think of anything. Uh, then you say, well, was there a phase change? Uh, not really. Nothing boiled, nothing melted, nothing froze. Doesn't say anything in the question about that. Okay? Then you ask yourself, okay, no phase change. Uh, is there a delta, like a solution mixing? Well, there's no real solution mixing. We're really going to see that in this chapter that we're in right now, chapter 12. Uh, so then you ask yourself, okay, none of those, is there a reaction? Well, yes, I just wrote it down, there is a reaction. Okay? So really, this thing here, this is the delta H we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. A Q of reaction is just a delta H. So, maybe I'll put that as a side note down here. A reaction, a solution mixing, or a phase change. Those are Q's, which are all delta H's. Oops. All those are Q's, and they're all delta H's. Okay? So, this is a delta H of reaction, and that's what essentially they're asking for. There's all your Q's in the problem, only two. So you go, oh, Q, a reaction, just solve, equals zero, minus, uh, equals minus Q, the water. Is that okay? Okay. Well, this had to do with a temperature change. There's only one formula, MCP delta D. Okay. Now we've got to find these terms, so let me do these terms each separately. CP, check. Is that okay? Yeah. Temperature change, check. That's delta T is T final minus T initial. That's okay, right? M is really going to be the most complicated one uh, because they don't give you mass in the problem. I think they should give you, they do give you Though, you know that mass, or let me write this way, density is mass over volume. That you gotta know. You gotta remember that all for yourself. So mass is density times volume. You do have density, and the sum of these is the total volume. So mass is density, one gram per mil, times the total volume, one plus one. 
meters. Two. There's the mass. So that mass goes right in there. We have the heat capacity, right? This, a specific heat. We've got the delta T. Check, check, check. Um, I don't know if you wrote. I don't know what that calculates out to. Oh, if this is it. No. Oh, yeah, we got. Minus, is this what you have? 2.6 times 10 to the 4 joules. Does that look right? Minus, and we multiply MCP and delta T. Is that okay? The only thing is, they say, oh, we just don't just want that, we want it per mole. So remember, we wanted it per mole. So you gotta remember, Q of reaction, that's the delta H. Those are the same thing. All those are delta H's. So then you've just got that. You say, oh, per mole. Now you might be wondering, where did I get that one mole from? Well, if you go back to the reaction, uh, this is molarity. This is liters. Well, molarity, remember, is moles per liter. Or if you multiply liters and moles, you get Liters and molarity, you get moles. Well, one times one, there's one mole of this. One times one, there's one mole of this. And see, I already balanced it. It's one, 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 and two. So if there's one mole of this, there's one mole of this. So that's where that one mole came in from. If it asked for this one, what would I put down here? Two. Two. That's it. Does that make more sense now? Okay, good.